G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching The Legend of Korra Season 2, Episodes 5, 6, 7 and 8. I think it's a pretty good season so far. I think the pacing is very slow, but that's okay. I'm happy to sit down and watch something that takes a little bit more time to just get into things, if that makes sense. Granted, I feel like last week, I think I was a little bit more negative than I normally am and I do apologize for that. I think I was just a little bit out of it. Yeah, I just feel like it was a lot less empathy on my end for Korra. She's really struggling and there's been a lot of things that have stopped her from really being able to trust people fully and it totally makes sense and I feel really sorry for her character what she has to go through. I'm really rooting for her. I hope that she doesn't go through too much uh, pain in this season like she did in the last one. We'll see. Feeling pretty good today. I've got my cocoa finally for the cocoa couch. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm really excited to get into it so without further ado let's jump into it. It's brother versus brother <laughs> in the war of the water tribe. The southern rebels rallied around Tonrock, but they are vastly outnumbered. Gosh, chapter five, peacekeepers. Family trouble is the last thing you need as an avatar. <laughs> Welcome home, avatar. Thanks for starting a war. I didn't start a war. Well, I did, but it's more complicated yeah, than Yeah, it wasn't your seen. fault. There's going to be a southern water tribe peace march tonight. I need you there to make sure things don't get out of hand. I just think having you there blatantly supporting one side will only make things worse. Mm. You could at least try it. I'm not neutral. The North invaded my home. Julie's already scheduled a meeting for us with President Ryko tomorrow. I, I love Julie. My factory. I am dying for a pedicure. <laughs> what should I be doing? Figure something out. Have you ever seen Republic City at night? Oh, no. he's a great addition. Increase security around the spirit portal. Keeping it safe is our number one priority. Ooh. Yes, sir. Okay. I want to know what's so special about it. What does he know that I don't... <laughs> That's terrifying. I need you two to go after the Avatar. Ah. She's the only one. I'll find her. She stole my husband. <laughs> I need her alive. Fine. Damn. Okay. She's like the May of this series. Do it, down and roll over. No, no, you can't just demonstrate it. That never works. <laughs> Classic over-rewarding. Command respect. Bro, relax. It's a vacation. Having some trouble. Pokey isn't very good at learning. Believe me, I know the feeling. Maybe I can help. <laughs> how would you like your old dad to teach you how to be a master trainer? Yeah! <laughs> so cute. I love how much he loves his kids, though. The Avatar is leading a group of Southerners in a peaceful protest, Chief Unalak. A peaceful protest. Let's hope this doesn't end badly. Get a real job! Did he say get a real job? <laughs> Damn, man. People are ruthless. Good job, hey, mate. Republic City Police. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so lucky he's a firebender. Ah, oh, man. What was their plan here? They're just trying to make Korra look like she's causing problems? The Northern Water Tribe is out of control. I saw a firebender running away from the blast. North might not be responsible for this. Of course they're responsible. Oh, dang, yeah. People are flawed, and there's people on each side, so... <laughs> When I see flashing lights like this, because I got hit in the head with a rock. Being famous is like getting hit with a rock all the time. Does he wear anything other than like Not green? Bowling! I guess he would be a celebrity, wouldn't he? Let's see if we can get a quick interview. <laughs> Bowling! How have you been spending your time lately? I took a trip south for the Glacier Spirits Festival. Briefly engaged to a princess. Involved in a civil war. <laughs> <laughs> but there's nowhere I'd rather be than pro bending night in Republic City. Republic City! Nice. Good way to handle that. Do you miss being in the ring? Humiliating losing. I mean, that gets pretty old. Sometimes I actually cry myself to sleep. Bird, <laughs> too much information. I guess what I miss the most are these fans. They're the greatest fans in the world. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro, I love him. They're eating that cornball spiel right out of your hand. Whenever I get confused, I just say Republic City fans, and then everyone cheers. I think I just figured out your true calling. You did? Hello, Mr. President. The Southern Water Tribe. Just a second. Ooh. Eh. <laughs> now. 
How can I help the Avatar and my most generous supporter? Unalak's troops have invaded the South. Mm. But I don't think it's the Republic's place to interfere with internal Water Tribe matters. Unalak isn't even- Yeah, he yikes. Lied. His the North attacked our cultural center last night. We are doing everything we can to bring the people responsible. Who else would it be but the Northerners? I know that when you're young, it's hard to keep perspective. <laughs> you're the one who's lost perspective. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to save my tribe. Sending troops is not something I can do at this time, but my mind is made up. This meeting is over. It'll be on your head for doing nothing about it. Shivers, man. I do love Korra's spirit through the series. That's Can't one thing that's really consistent I like. Nothing. Just tell those people to go fight a battle at the South Pole that has nothing to do with them. How could you take his side? I'm trying to get troops to the South. What are you doing? Damn. I'm do Don't let me stand in the way of you writing tickets. I'm just trying to save the world. You wouldn't have to if you didn't keep messing it up. I can't talk to you when you're like this. <laughs> you're the one who's like this. That was such a Zuko moment. Hey. <laughs> oh, hello. See, I told you I could do it. Oh, Sorry boy. I ever did. Can't wait for the president to act. And my company is about to go under. Idea storm. Get the supplies. <laughs> Forefront of imagination innovation. A or brain work requires increased circulation. Whoa. Let's do this. Oh, it actually is. Wait, what? Okay, here come the ideas. Fast and Furious. Lemon tea. <laughs> we don't need the president to go to the south. We just need the troops. Whoa. If there's one thing I know of. Okay. Man on the you need to sell some mecha tanks. I know some people who need them. Ship them south. That's perfect. Company what a genius. But I love Crazy Risky. <laughs> End storm. And I love you, mate. <laughs> Whoa. Surely. Okay. They'll be lining up to fight Unalak. Julie, do the, uh, the thing. Good on you, Julie. <laughs> I had a film crew documenting the entire northern invasion. No. Whoa! No! <laughs> Sorry, keep doing that. No one will root for the north after they see the adventures of Nuktuk, hero of the south. Yes, I love some good propaganda. <laughs> I'm Nuktuk. What do you think? <laughs> I just don't buy that the northern water tribe was behind it. That's him. That's the guy that attacked the center. Oh, You're I right, miss Milo. Momo. The first thing, establish dominance. You are in charge. Never forget that. Pokey, come here. <laughs> You're rewarding him for bad behavior. It is nice to see his father trying his best to teach him in a way he knows best. Let him. He has to sleep on the floor. I know it's hard. No, Pokey, this is my bed. <laughs> It's so hard. How did this cultural center attack happen right under your nose? We're working on it, sir. We'll work harder. If you don't get me results soon, I'm going to find someone who can. Oh my gosh, this poor woman just case. keeps getting threatened. <laughs> you better run that into Beifong right now. Sure, you're gonna be a hero. Oh. What beat cop think he can interrupt my meeting? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, um. We'll give it to Lu and Gong, you moron. Now get out! Wow. Someone must have hired him to make it look like Northerners attacked the cultural center. Did you learn anything about that remote control I found at the scene? It was a Northern Water Tribe, okay? Yeah, give it a rest. It is interesting that he's more concerned with just bringing in the right person than accusing the North. I've heard good things about you. You've made some big triad busts for a rookie. And you're dating the Avatar, right? You wouldn't happen to know if they're plotting anything. Compromise the security of Republic City? No. 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 Let me remind you that you've sworn an oath. Oh. Yes, sir. Well. That is such an annoying situation, man. Wait. There's something you should know. Oh, dang it, bro. You can say bye to your relationship with Cora when she finds out. Far Thank out. You for the president is refusing to give the order. I see. Suppose I were to take the fleet south on some... Routine training maneuvers. It's Zuko. I have no choice but swapping old war stories. I hope you're not planning to take any military action without an order from your commander in chief. A single vessel leaves this harbor without my say so. It'll be court martialed. The Avatar does not command the military of the Republic. I hate that guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you should talk to the Fire Lord. My mother and grandfather have always been good friends to the Avatar. I'm sure they'll be willing to help. Come on. Yes. Talk to the Fire Lord. 
Bro. Wouldn't that be cold wearing this outfit in the snow? Nuck Tuck is never cold. Ooh. He did not skip leg day. Hey, he is an earthbender sure. though. Bolin, I need you to watch Naga while I'm gone. I'm going to try to get them to help the South. He was going to help, but then President Raiko showed up. Someone must have tipped him off. No one knew about it except for us and Asami. And, and your Mako. boyfriend. Mako? There's no way Mako would have told, right? Yeah, there is. Yep. Especially after they fought. Pokey, sit. Well done, Milo. I train all the lemurs. Watch! <laughs> Dude! He's his father's son. <laughs> that is impressive. I created a monster. Yeah! <laughs> uh, why don't you and Pokey just have fun and play? Painting makes me tired. Come on, Pokey. <laughs> You ratted me out to the president? The president of the republic asked me a direct question. You betrayed me! Damn, Cora! <laughs> I can't constantly be worrying about keeping you from making another huge mistake. You're always standing in the way of me getting it done. I guess if we're both putting our jobs first, maybe there's no room for our relationship. Damn, bro, he broke up with her? So what? Are you breaking up with me? Yeah. I guess I am. Holy moly. She, she didn't want to break up. She was upset. What the bro. I broke up with the Avatar. You got off easy. You should have seen Air Temple Island after Tenzin broke up with me. <laughs> yeah, what, what an L, man. Yo, we good? Ah, oh, these two. You ruined my wedding! <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, they're going fast. Avatar State, come on. <laughs> uh, what on earth? Whoa! What is that? Damn. It's like a spirit kraken. Ooh, is it gonna work? On something that big? Yes. Yes. No. What? Well. Okay. What an episode. <laughs> the end of the episode ends with her being broken up with by her boyfriend and then swallowed by a spirit kraken. Hey, I thought that that episode was gonna be like, I was lowering my expectations a lot so I could just, you know, really enjoy it. But that was, I thought that episode was good. I had a good time watching that one. I mean, it could have just been my attitude, but I I just heard a lot about the first half of this week being really bad and this like the latter half of this week being really good, you know, uh, but so far so good it is obviously a little bit more mundane i guess the plot that's happening right they're just trying to get troops to the southern tribe and not a lot is actually happening i i just liked how campy it was i liked that there was relationship problems i liked that bolin was doing all this weird stuff it was really funny all right on to episode seven all right chapter six the sting okay oh no that's not good Eric is not going to be happy about this. Yes, the sky beam. <laughs> so many sky beams the last two weeks of movies I've been watching. Father said he would meet us at this location. Oh, okay. Were you just in the spirit world? Where is the Avatar? She was within our grasp. They're out of control. The Avatar is dead. <laughs> That's strange. Did he come from the spirit world? I thought only the Avatar could do that. We must stop the evil Unalak. The Southern Water Tribe is mine. With my water bending doomsday device. Bro, they made him look like Ozai in the play from The Last Airbender. I will end the evil Unalak's reign of terror. For I am Nuktuk, hero of the South. <laughs> Who's gonna fight for friends and freedom, Nuktuk? No. This reminds me of the uh, the propaganda in Captain America. Look up there. 
What do you see? Star being born. You're a star. People love stars. Have you ever tried to force a monkey marmot to ride a bicycle? Uh, no. They got to want to do it themselves. Before long, they'll persuade the president to lend his troops to the war effort. Wow, the fact that he's using all this to try and help still, like that's the end game. <laughs> I've captured Noctuck's beautiful girlfriend. Not so fast, evil Unalak. Oh, <laughs> evil Unalak? What? He can just fly? And now, your time is up. It's no use. My anti-energy net makes bending impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Will this be the end of Knock Tuck? Then save the beautiful ginger. Find out the beautiful we ginger. Are. We got some major chemistry on screen. Oh Am boy. I right? On screen. <laughs> Damn. What's wrong? I'm gonna save you in the next episode, Ginger! Let's work through this! Another one of your ships has been captured. Haven't I told you I hate getting bad news without first getting good news? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> looks like your first mover has gotten a great reception. Yay! That's old news! Oh. <laughs> yeah, Cora's is definitely true? the big spoon. <laughs> I'm gonna find who's ever responsible. I know it's been a long day, but walk me through what happened. We were ambushed about 30 clicks outside the harbor. The bombs exploded in a way I've never seen before. It was like they were being detonated remotely. Oh. Like the bombs at the cultural center. Wait, right, so that's a new thing. Did any of the people who attacked you have one of these in their hand? I think it's a remote detonator. It was too dark to see anything. Come on. Was this one of the guys who attacked? No, I don't recognize him. Nice try, rookie. Mako, leave. Come now, on. I have an idea how we can catch these guys. Let's all listen to the rookie. He's doing a better job than you. Yeah. Who's... You're a beat cop, not a detective. Now hit the street and do your job. <laughs> Good lord, man. Come on. Lu and Gong are idiots. I hate them and their <laughs> stupid mustaches. Whoa. Forget them. I was thinking we'd set up a bait ship, take it out into the open ocean, and capture whoever attacks it. I don't want to go behind Bei Fong's back. My mom is gone. My dad is in jail. Mm. Future Industries is all I have left of my family. Yeah. This is more than a two-person job. First of all, we'd need a ship. <laughs> ah, you need a ship? I got a ship! I want of in course! All right, I'm in. Let's get these guys. I'm surprised he's prepared to do this against the law, right? But he had to give up Cora's plan? I find that a little bit... Meh. The ship's all loaded with the dummy crates. Let's get this sting operation That's a going. lot of power. Not yet. We need some extra manpower. No better muscle than the Avatar. Right. Everything okay with you two? Forget about Cora. I'll go talk to Bolin. No, he broke up with you, and then he broke up with Cora. <laughs> Gosh. Hey, Marco! I think you need to take a little dippity dip. Trying to catch who's ever been attacking the shipments, and I need your help. You need my help. I don't know. I'm kind of busy. Come on, Bolin. In a I'm maintaining my instrument. As an actor, my body <laughs> is my instrument. The amount of times I've heard that. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? I don't know, Mako. Figure it out. Remember? <laughs> Ow, my instrument! Oh man, there's a lot of pettiness sure from people in these episodes. Whatever you think we did, we didn't do it. That's business. sus. Mr. Law and Order needs our help. What's in it for the triple threats? I might be able to convince her to give Shady Shin his bending back. Me, boss. Ooh, okay. I've got vehicles. All brand new and top of the line. I think we got ourselves a deal. Okay, I hope that's not gonna bite them in the butt later. It's right around the area where the attacks happened, so keep your eyes peeled. What's it like dating the Avatar? <sighs> ah! Come on, Ma. <laughs> if I was dating the Avatar, I'd tell you all about it. I broke up with her. You yep. broke up? Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. Because he knows it was a dumb <laughs> thing to do. You Hey, Shady Shin! Mako says he broke up with the Avatar! Sure he did! I love that, yeah. Alright, you- And action! That's dramatic. You capture the evil Unalak before he gets away! I'll never leave you! <laughs> Cut! There's no kiss in the script. Wait, what? Sorry, I kinda lost myself in the moment. It just felt so right. <laughs> you can't do it that! <laughs> Your girl. Maybe that will work! Yes! It's genius! Everybody take oh, five! Oh boy. Except for you. That kiss. I liked it. Of course you did! You're confusing Ginger the actress. Ginger the character. It's like a minute ago when we were shooting you were into me, but now you're not. Cause she's in character! <laughs> so how long do we have to stay out here? What do you have, a hot date? 
and I want to look my best. I got to shower and shave. The Do way you, they all okay? talk. Well, yeah, we were paid to keep Mako and that dame distracted, so that's what we're going to do. This is why I never get dates. I love when the information is conveniently relayed in detail out loud when it doesn't have to be, so the good guy can hear it. It's so good. I just overheard Shady Shin and Viper. We have to get off this ship. Where do you think you're going? Oh, that's so cool. Come on. Yeah, dang. That's not very good if you can only fire them out in the ocean. <laughs> Yikes. Damn. Yeah, when your enemy can literally bend the ocean. <laughs> it's like, ugh. Oh. Oh. We're not gonna make it! Ah! Nice. We're stalled! No! <laughs> oh. Come on, come on, Mako. Ah! Ooh. Damn, all right. Someone paid the triple threats to keep us distracted. From what? Oh no. Yeah. Dang it, man. Whoever paid the triple threat stole everything. All that power. I'm ruined. We should check out your other warehouses. Everything I had was in here. If we can find a lead. Mako. I can figure this out. Be emotionally available first. I'm not giving up on you. Uh, Sorry. I... Uh, it's 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 okay. Um, I mean, technically. <laughs> I I'm gonna find out who did this, and I know just who to ask. It doesn't exactly look good though. If Cora hey, wants to Marco. make things work, you know. Who hired you to double cross us? We never met the guy who hired us. <laughs> Please, I would never lie to you with my lucky toes on the line. <laughs> with not my toes. Get out. Bolin, have you seen Varric around? Bolin. Bolin. Hello, Mako. Didn't notice you there. Where's Varric? I need to ask him something. Can't say that I've seen him, but I've been kind of busy, you know, rehearsing for my big scene. Wish I could stand around here and chit chat, but you know, I gotta go. Oh man. Okay. What happens to Bolin wanting to help? Down. What? Things to go off like that? Oh. Indeed, huh? It's a Varric Industries exclusive. Here, check it out. Oh. Big Varric. Genius. Asami, I think I know who set us up. Doing. I liked you. <laughs> he just said Varric bought a controlling interest in future industries. I like to think I'm always there to stand up for the little guy. Uh, so what were you saying, Mako? And I'm real close to proving it. Bill, that later. sucks, man. So he took away all the gear, she'd, so she'd have to make a deal with him. Oh, yeah, Cora. <laughs> I was like, what happened to her? Oh. We're here to help you, Avatar Korra. Who's... who's Avatar Korra? Oh, no. What happened? I don't know. I can't remember anything. Ugh. Right. Dang it, man. So we've got an amnesia storyline now. The whole relationship stuff's getting pretty complicated. I'm liking the whole uh, the manipulation of, you know, different people through the last two episodes. It's really cool to see things not always be as they seem and people taking the wrong sides and trusting the wrong people. I think uh, in The Last Airbender, it was very, they focused a lot more on the characters and their experiences, right? But the conflicts weren't that complicated. It was pretty, it was pretty easy to know who was who, uh, this person's evil, this person's good. That allowed there to be more focus on uh, the characters, which is great. But what's great about this too is what what I like is the fact that it's it's making things very nuanced. It's it, not everyone is all good or all bad. Uh, I heard someone I, I don't I don't know who it was, but someone mentioned the fact that something uh, that reactors do that isn't very good is comparing the last Airbender to the Legend of Korra. And I understand what they're saying. It's kind of like if you compare it and make the Legend of Korra almost look worse because of it. That's not a good sort of way of comparing. I like comparing because of what makes it unique and, and what makes it good. That's why I like comparing. Uh, 
you know, why why is it different to the last Airbender, and what and what about it? that's different makes it good in its own way and that's what i like about the legend of korra so much and the last two episodes kind of encapsulated the way i feel about it a lot uh that you know people aren't always as they seem olin you know is getting essentially seduced by fame when you know he seemed to have a really good heart earlier uh i'm hoping he snaps back into things and then you see marco who was so on korra's side in the first four episodes of this season he was always like wanting to say and do the right thing uh but then all of a sudden when they clash then he breaks up with her and then <laughs> yeah it's just it's just a little odd but that's what i like about it you don't really ex know what to expect out of the characters it makes it so exciting chapter seven beginnings part one okay we found the avatar washed up on shore but she doesn't remember anything brava 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 Rava. A dark energy has infected her. We must purge it before it destroys her avatar spirit. Oh shoot, that's serious. Death that plagues your spirit. Okay. I'm glad they're actually on the avatar's side in this series. <laughs> okay, cool. Who are you? I am you. Who am I? You are the Avatar. In order to remember, you must regain your connection. Hell yeah. If you don't, you the world. How do I regain my connection? Return to the beginning. Find Rava. Find Rava. This has got really interesting. Hey, are buddy. you Rava? No, but I can help you find her. My name is Juan, and I will show you how I became the first Avatar. Oh! Oh, let's go! Nobody steals from the two brothers! Really? Because I just did. So this is the very first Avatar. <laughs> Has my guy got powers yet? You're just in time for lunch! Oh! <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> yeah! <laughs> Definitely has that Avatar spirit though already. That's like the perfect place for parkour. Oh. Did you steal from the chews again? And I got nothing to show for it. Oh, uh, very poor. Rolls and I got some food for you. Damn. Delicious. What happened to him? <laughs> you guys are hungry too, huh? Oh. You should eat. Uh, they need it more than I do. If only there was some way to get into the chews food cellar, we'd be eating like, well, like chews. Don't get banished. Don't want nothing to do with those spirits. Whoa. Okay. Don't you just gotta accept the world is the way it is. Some people have power, some people don't. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, what? Are I guess he gets strong? chosen. Do you have what it takes to battle the spirits? Count me in. We're going to be out in the wilds for a week. I can handle myself. We all get fire, right? All right. Hell yeah. Welcome to the hunt. So interesting, man. I'm so keen to see how he becomes the first Avatar. And this is going to be, a, what, a world before the Avatar created, like, or a bridge between worlds? Oh! The Lion Turtle. We are venturing into the Spirit Wilds to bring back food for our people. Grant us the power of fire. Until your return. Wow. Oh, so they give them bending temporarily. May protect you against the spirits. <laughs> so the lion turtle protects the humans from the spirits in this this time, Wait, this time close. period. I don't think I can do this. I think I want to go home. Bro. I knew you were nothing but a sniveling coward. Don't ever show your face around me again. Dang, bro. Oh, <laughs> wow, of course. I should have seen that. Juan, you're back. <laughs> can't steal from the lion turtle because i just did <laughs> wow he's the chosen one and he stole it <laughs> you know it's forbidden to bring the power of the element into the city it's time to stop being so afraid of the chews show them we have the power to change things right it's almost like a trial run he's like showing that he can use bending to bring balance hand over all the food you're hoarding and we won't give you any trouble we have the weapons oh boy <laughs> damn 
much food as you can. Is this implying that fire was the first element? Maybe we do have the power to change things. Looks like the juice found backup. I'll hold them off. Come on, mate. Don't no, hurt them, though. When you have the power, you're afraid to use it. What? He spared you, dude. Shut up. You are hereby banished. And give back the fire you stole. Great line, Turtle. I am sorry for stealing the fire from you, and I accept my punishment. Come on. Please, I need to be able to protect myself in the wilds. I will allow to keep the power of the element. Yes. Hey. Betty doesn't last till morning. Even the first avatar didn't have it easy, hey. <laughs> Watch where you're stepping, human! How'd you like it if I started walking all over you? <laughs> oh, just a little frog. Who's little mouth? Oh. <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> Okay, this world is terrifying. <laughs> Even the grass! <laughs> Mate, firebending is really saving him. <laughs> yeah, can't even sleep. Yeah, what can you eat? Get off me! Uh. Get off me! <laughs> Jeez. I'm so glad they're taking their time with this origin story of the Avatar. It makes things so interesting, man. Oh. You are not welcome in my oasis. Starving and I haven't slept all night. Not my problem. Now be gone with you. Is there no food anywhere else? <laughs> it's like spirited away. And who might you? I am Bushy, the Bush Spirit. <laughs> Bushy. And I would like- You may pass. Come on. <laughs> Wait a second, I knew I Dang smelled it. a human. <laughs> <laughs> Poor human. Aww. Don't pity. If you can't go back to your city, then you should go live in another one. There are other lion turtles? There are other lion turtles? Of course there are! <laughs> Dozens of them! You know what? I don't need your help. I'll find it myself. I'm gonna get you out of there. Yeah, he has a kind heart. We caught something. Get it down. Oh. Get out of the way. No. Yeah. He was also the first vegetarian. <laughs> That'd be a terrible way to go. Yes, he knows how to survive out here now. Get him off! Get him off! <laughs> oh, oh gosh! Hate humans! Yeah, that's horrifying. Oh, oh so that's what happened to the other guy. Yeah, he's trying to protect the I forest. Feel great. Spirits are able to take over a human body for a short time. If I stayed in there any longer, I would have killed him. I saw you save the cat deer from those hunters. Told you I wasn't like the others. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you I decided to stay here and learn the ways of the spirits. What a yes. great idea. I've never had a human as a pet before. I think I'll call you Stinky. The name is What? Juan. Wow. Thanks, friends. <laughs> wow. Dang, so what, Bro Master's firebending? Yes, he's doing the dance! The way Juan moves fire, he uses it like it's an extension of his body. Juan <laughs> <laughs> has proven that with the power of fire, you don't have to live under Chu the Elder's rules anymore. Yes! Inspiring others too. He's literally doing his job as the Avatar before he even has been appointed the role. It's time I see the rest of the world and find the other Lion Turtle City. Proud to call you my friend, Stinky. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Is that one of the spirit portal areas? Like, is that the north or something? So how does he get the other elements? I'm so excited, man. The all-powerful spirits are battling! They'll wipe out the entire valley! 
the old powerful spirits? Oh, okay. Why don't they look like the ones that attacked uh, Korra? Stop! This doesn't concern you, human! If you're a friend to spirits, help me break free! This is between us! He's tormented me for 10,000 years! Let him go! What? You gotta hear both sides. Whoa. Thank you, human. Huh? I was keeping him under control. You don't even know who I am. No. <laughs> Should I? My name is Rava. Mm. That spirit you freed is Vatu, the force of darkness and chaos. I am the force of light and peace. We have battled over the fate of this world until you came along. Oh. So, by freeing Vatu, I let chaos into the world? <laughs> yeah. The human and, and it's all your fault. Yeah, good job, mate. <laughs> Who looks at a giant red spirit and goes, that's the good one? Oh my goodness, man. I know like not everything is as it seems, right? But I think it's just so funny when you have blue glowing, holy looking spirit fighting this demonic red thing. <laughs> And then the red one's like, oh, she's attacking me. And then he just immediately picks side. Just goes to show that, uh, you know, the avatars have flaws too. No matter how good they try to make the world. Mate, that was really cool seeing an origin story to the avatar. I wasn't expecting a whole episode about it. That's really cool. I always wondered when I was watching The Last Airbender. I liked that you're kind of thrown into the middle of a age-long story. Really wanting to know how it all started. So this is really satisfying to watch. It's really nice though that he had all the traits of an avatar before uh, things are even happening, right? Because he said he's the first avatar and I'm assuming he gets all the elements, right? So on to episode eight. All right, chapter eight. Beginnings, part two. So Rava is the good one. He is connecting with her deepest avatar memories. We can only hope that she survives. Wow, okay. What happens here is everyone's business. This world may cease to exist. Let me help you. I don't want your help. Yes. Don't interfere with me again. No, come on, team up. <gasps> oh, the monks have been around for ages? <laughs> More humans. Yeah, wait! <laughs> I'm friendly! He has a goatee! He has hair! Ah. Oh. oh my! Oh, that's so cool, man. The legends are true. And it's flying! <laughs> that's so fitting, man. I have got to get over there! <laughs> Wish me luck. Dale. Come on, mate. I love how much wonder is in his character. Like, he just wants to explore and to discover things. Huh? Wow. Where did you come from, stranger? For the past two years, I've been living among the spirits and exploring two the wilds. Two years. We would love to hear of your travels. Whoa. Ah. Oh, no. Chaos is already spreading. <laughs> <laughs> It really is corrupting everything. Yikes. Vatu. We meet again. Why is the great spirit of darkness here? Uh, <laughs> I'll explain. <laughs> that was such a Korra moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fireworks, good. Come on, Keep team on. up. Yeah. I've never been better. When harmonic convergence comes, I will destroy you. Harmonic convergence? We thank you for your help, but how did you become split from Vatu? Ask him. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I'd take it all back if I could. He is turning other spirits dark. The stronger he becomes. You're getting smaller. Ooh. And but I promise mm. to set things right. How? Great Lion Turtle, I ask that you grant me the power of air to defeat Vatu before it's too late. Yes! You are no human has ever held elements at the same time. I can learn to do it. Rava must hold the power for you. Why would I do that for a human? I can't let the world fall into chaos because of my mistake. Together, we have a chance. I will help you to master the power of air. I will help you restore balance to the world. Yes!
yes, 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 yes. This is so good. Harmonic convergence. That is when Vatu and I must battle for the fate of the world. About a year in your time. Damn, bro. The only way for me to give you the other element is pass through your body. Give me the air. Give me the air. <laughs> Let's go. You good? It feels completely different. He cannot destroy light more than I can destroy darkness. Right. One can darkness will grow inside me until he emerges. The same will hold true if Vatu defeats me. So it's that just an eternal so battle. Even if Vatu wins, you'll come back. But you will probably not survive to see it. If I'm gonna help you battle Vatu, then I should visit more lion tribes. Yeah, that's not good, man. Spirits come from another realm. At the North and South Pole, more and more spirits have drifted into this world. Right. Most people think they live in the only human city in the world. Most humans think only of themselves. Ain't that true? I feel an incredible rush of power. Ooh. <laughs> Careful, mate. Smells like smoke. Humans are nearby. Let's check it out. Ooh, Rava's small now too. Yeah, here we go. Yep. <sighs> Using it to destroy nature. Easy there, fellas. What are you doing out here? Once we heard that you survived out in the wild, we decided to try it too. Why were you protecting this spirit? He's not like the dark spirits you've probably run into. What's the difference? Oh. We throw fire at any spirit we see around here. Dude. Just like they- You're only making things worse! Spirits are coming back! No! Oh, no. Get out of the forest, humans! We can resolve this peacefully. Yes, come on. Stinky? <laughs> You came back! Stinky. It's good. Clear these tree killing fire lovers out of here! Yeah, that's like why they're no attacking ways. you, man. I know there must be a way to work out a compromise. I can't let them get away with that! Is this gonna give the other guy more power? <laughs> yeah. Oh no! We are protectors of the forest! He's growing stronger. Oh, this Stop, sucks, please. man. Baba, we need to combine our energies! Yes, come on, come on. Yes, is this the Avatar state? Enough! Yes! Stinky! Ooh, what happened? I have to leave your body or I'll destroy you. Oh. One! Oh. Dang it, man. Just like that, they're like immediately fighting again. Like, come on. So much responsibility, man, when so many creatures are killing each other. Back. Enjoy your final days. See you at the end of the world. I'm sorry. Whoa. So morbid, man. She's so tiny. All right, so what's the plan now? I had no idea that humans were capable of nobility and courage. Hey, I mean, he didn't give off the best first impression, but this Vatu and I will do battle once again. Right. So this is the spirit world, right? And this is what what's his name was talking about. This portal Are you can you cross. Before you get to her, you'll have to go through me. Hell yeah, Avatar no State. Yep, yep. I'm not a regular human anymore. Dang, bro. Lee, okay. Now it was I who separated the plane of spirits face oblivion. The only way to win is together. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Dang it, man! Okay. Is this actually having an effect? Is it getting smaller? Uh, if I stay any longer, you will die. Vatu will destroy everything. We have to finish this together! Dang, okay. I'm so glad he's so noble. Gee. The era of Rava is over. Oh shoot, okay. The planets are actually aligning. Uh oh, what? We are bonded forever. <laughs> yes! So this is the Avatar state. <laughs> Come on, man. This is awesome. Yes. 
This is your prison now. No human will ever be able to physically enter the spirit world. Oh. Oh. Oh, so what's his name wants to release him? I will teach men to respect the spirit that balance will be maintained. <laughs> I will be the bridge between our two worlds. Mate. That's an awesome origin story. Our time protecting is over. Different groups of people must learn to live together. Use Rava's light spirit to guide the world toward peace. Regardless of how difficult it can be. I'm sorry, Rava. I failed to bring peace. There wasn't enough time. We will be together for all of your lifetimes. <laughs> and we will never give up. Wow. I love that. We didn't have enough time. So noble. To his dying breath trying to create peace. That's crazy though, the reality that it takes generations to create peace. I remember. Do you know who you are? My name is Korra. Yeah! I'm the Avatar. Hell yeah, you are! You do not have much time left. The harmonic convergence only weeks away. Oh. I have to close the spirit portal before that happens. Damn, bro. <laughs> I didn't know things were going to get so intense in season two. Like, what? That's crazy, man. I feel like season two has so much significance in the entire like universe of the avatar i just wasn't expecting it to be like that my goodness that was an awesome couple of episodes particularly the last two like i get i get now why people consider the first two episodes to be weaker but that doesn't mean they're bad episodes i think it's just because the beginnings episodes are just so flipping good like they go into detail onto the avatar's origin story like that's pretty darn significant that's like heavy lore right there so 10,000 years as a harmonic convergence okay wow 10,000 years of reincarnation that's a lot of darn avatars man my goodness i really hope this experience gives Korra some more like insight into just the world and being able to see things from like an eternal sort of pov you know like there's a, there's a weird sort of uh, balance there I think where sometimes one of the reasons why I feel like it's actually a good thing why humans don't have such a huge lifespan is because uh, I think the longer you live the more desensitized you get to immediate things or to things that have a uh, less of a lifespan right you value life differently and what I like about the whole reincarnation thing is it's allowing there to be a fresh uh, human, like a, a person to start again and to kind of relearn uh, these insights from previous avatars. Uh, even though they have more of an eternal sort of perspective, they're still kind of restrained to their lifetime. Otherwise, they get too, they get too detached, I think, from their humanity the longer you live. So I guess it's better that you have lots and lots of avatars than one sort of eternal avatar that lives for like 10,000 years. I like that aspect of humanity being carried over into each incarnation. It's really cool. That was a really interesting episode. I didn't realize the conflict was so uh, spiritual, I guess, right? It just felt really cool to have a huge battle in the spirit world uh, between the forces of good and evil and i like that sort of idea that they, one can't live without the other it you know it, they just in this eternal conflict uh of balance right it's really cool i am so excited to see where this goes i had a fantastic time watching those four episodes i hope you guys enjoyed this i did please like and subscribe and i will see you all next time stay crazy